What's up team? Welcome to training camp. My name is Coach Ari and I'm going to be leading you through this workout today. Today's workout is all about the shoulders, okay? We're going to do a shoulder sculpt today. It's going to be quick and it's a format that you may not be used to. So I'm really excited because you can get a really, really good sweat in with not a lot of time. Today's workout, you're going to need some dumbbells, maybe a towel, and definitely some water, okay? I'm gonna explain how the workout works and then we're gonna jump right into it, okay? If you haven't warmed up, I suggest my five minute dynamic warm up. You can warm up before the workout, but we're gonna jump into it. Okay, so here's how the workout works. We're gonna do supersets today. Two exercises paired back to back, but today's format is something you may not have done before. We're gonna work for one minute at a time. Okay, we're gonna do 30 seconds on, and then we're gonna move right into the second exercise, 30 seconds again, okay? We're gonna actually do that two rounds before we stop and rest. So you're gonna be working for two minutes at a time, and we are gonna pump out four rounds of that superset before you know it, five minutes, okay? So the first two exercises that we're going to do are going to be a bent arm lateral raise and an Arnold press, okay? Throughout the workout, I'm gonna be giving you coaching cues, how to perfect your form, how to make it better, and just how to get the most out of this workout. All right, let's do it. Okay, so for the first exercise, you're going to need those weights. I suggest five pounds or greater. If you've been doing this for a while, then you can definitely do 10 pounds or greater. The bent arm lateral raise helps us to keep our elbows nice and close to our body instead of a front raise where our arms are just so much further away from the body, okay? So grab those weights and I'm gonna set our timer, okay? Okay, so I'm gonna set our timer. We've got two minutes on the clock. We're going to quickly transition in between those moves. 30 seconds, 30 seconds, back to back. So two minutes of work before we get to rest, okay? Grab your weights and I'm setting our timer. In three, two, one, you have 30 seconds on the clock. We're starting with that bent arm lateral raise. So the arms are straight out in front of you and the elbows, everything comes up to 90. Okay, so everything comes up and it's flat. You're already halfway through this first exercise. The next exercise will be the Arnold press. We're gonna bring our hands up in front of our face in three, in two, in one, okay? Right here and we transition, okay? So you actually push through the weights and rotate them through your face. Just like that, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze your core. Arms should be fiery. Excellent job. Perfect. Already halfway through. Oh my goodness. Awesome job. You have three, two, one. We're gonna go back to the bent arm lateral raise right here, okay? 30 seconds. And we're gonna do two sets at a time before we rest. Okay, some of us don't have super heavy weights at home. So this is a great way to challenge your body and make some strength gains without having heavy weights. Okay, taking minimal rest breaks, working in a lot of sets, a lot of reps. Come on, you got it, let's go. Three, two, Arnold press, straight into it. Okay, palms face your face, and then you flip the palms and you push up towards the ceiling. That's it, perfect. Oh my gosh, my arms are starting to shake already. Our two minutes is almost up. That's it. You have 10 seconds, come on, let's go. A few more reps, a few more reps, you can do this. You can do this. Push it straight up in three, two, one. Relax, put those weights down, grab some water. We're going to rest for 30 seconds, okay? And then we're gonna do those supersets again for two minutes. So the first round, I want you to kind of get the feel for it, practice, and then the second round, you'll really be able to nail it. You've got 15 seconds, shake it out, okay? This is gonna keep you on time. Ideally, we wanna rest more than 30 seconds in between sets, so if you have time, pause it here, take another 30 seconds, but we're going right into it. Okay, you've got two minutes on the clock, starting with that bent arm lateral raise. In three, two, one, let's go. Right here. 
Man, this is an amazing workout in such a short amount of time. Even as I'm filming this, this is one of my workouts for the day. This is amazing. Keep on breathing. In through your nose, out through your mouth. Okay, here we go, Arnold press in three, two, one, flip the palms. As you can see, I like a staggered stance here, okay? That's it, good job. If you need a pause, you pause, okay? Right here, push up. Pretend like there's a barrier, push up, and you can't go outside of it. Halfway through, that's it. Press, okay, we've got one more set of this super set, back to back. We're going to those bent arm lateral raises. Feel free to drop your weights if you need to. Three, two, one. Right here, hands together, elbows come up, okay? Keep going. So see how everything is level? Okay, when you come up, if your hands are down here, I want you to bring them right up here. Exactly. Good job, keep on working. Oh my goodness, excellent job. Right here, okay? This is one you don't need a heavy weight for. You're like, oh yeah, I figured that out by now. <laughs> Good job. And let's go into those Arnold presses. One last round of these, and then we move on. Excellent job. This is a quick shoulder sculpt. You don't necessarily have to work out for an hour to see strength gains, okay? The biggest changes I've seen in my body have happened with quick, efficient workouts. Just consistency, that's it. You have five, four, three, two, one. Good job, that was tough. That was tough. We're gonna change things up a little bit, so while you rest, I'm gonna demo the next exercise. So we're going to need a weight for a weighted jack. You can either use two weights or just one weight, okay? You're gonna jack the feet out and in, just like that. Option is gonna be tap it out, tap it in. Okay, next exercise is going to be a power sit up. Okay, we're gonna use a weight here and we're going to come up overhead, fully extending the arms and come overhead. We're gonna close the suitcase, okay? Every single thing that we do at training camp, there's always a core piece involved. So those are the two exercises we're gonna use to break up our weight training, get some cardio in, and that's also super important for us, functional wise, okay? Heart health, good for you. So we're gonna start actually with the power sit up on the ground, so you're gonna need that weight. I suggest something heavier, okay? If you've been doing those for a while, you can definitely do eight pounds, but if you have fives, fives will work great. All right, here we go. Two minutes on the clock, back to back, okay? It's a little bit of cardio, <laughs> you got it. Three, two, one. And we are off, okay? You've got 30 seconds. Remember, you can be right here with your feet. You can keep them shoulder width apart. Slowly come down. Okay, hold your arms up. Okay, you've got one more. Okay, now I want you to get off the floor and we've got weighted jacks right here. If you have two weights, you're gonna use those weights. Feel free to pace yourself like this, tap it out, or go a little bit faster. It's always up to you, okay? At training camp, we never guilt ourselves into working out. We just show up and we do our best, and that's it, we don't take ourselves too seriously. Whew. Okay, we're going down to the ground, okay? Get down to the ground right now, and we're doing that weighted sit up again. Here we go, three, Two, one, arms stay high to the sky. Okay, a little fine toning here. Isolations are an excellent way to build strength. You're halfway. Keep on breathing. That's it, come on, let's go. Okay, next one, you're getting off the floor. Weighted jack, three, two, one. Let's do it. Now I'm going a little faster, okay? You can be right here. Again, you can have one weight right here. That's it, you're halfway. 
Pause at the top. Shoot those arms up. Squeeze. Squeeze the weight. That's it. Come on. Let's go. One more rep. One more rep. That's what you got to tell yourself. Three, two, one. Rest. Whew. The arms are starting to get tired. Starting to get tired. Whew. Catch your breath. Grab your water. It's time for a dance break. As usual, if you're over 30, you hear the, your hips pop or maybe close to 30. 27 hit and everything was just like downhill. All right, here we go. You know I'm right. 27 hits and everything changes. Okay guys, here we go. We're going back to the same thing we just, we just did and we're, we got two minutes on the clock. Man, my brain today feels a little foggy. I can't, I can't talk. When you're at camp, you truly are seeing my authentic self. I'm not this like perfect trainer. I am just like you working out at home. Okay, three, two, one. Going straight up for our power sit up. Remember, you can be here, balance at the top. This is definitely more challenging, but I know a lot of you can do this. Okay, it's okay if you're just starting out. You don't have to use a weight at all. You can lose that weight, okay? You can come up right here, working on your sit-ups, and relax. Okay, go up. You got that weighted jack. Let's go right into it. The clock is rolling. That's it. Again, tap it out, tap it in. Always options at camp, always options. That's it. We have one more round of that superset. Okay. We're getting ready to go down to the floor. Your triceps are going to be on fire by the end of this workout. Let's get right into that power sit up. Something you probably wouldn't expect. <laughs> what? We're working our triceps today? We're going to work a little bit of everything. Okay. This is a really nice new series. And we're gonna have a couple different ones of these. You can expect to see more quick arm workouts for those days that you just don't have as much time. And you can pair it with cardio, okay? But guess what? We're doing that right now. We're doing that right now. Last 30 seconds. Let's do it. Guess what? If you have a med ball, you can use your med ball. Be creative. Use what you have at home. Okay, that's it. Keep going, you have less than 10 seconds. My arms are getting tired, I know, I know. <laughs> Let's go, three, one more rep, come on. Push it out and relax. Holy crap, arms are tired, arms are tired. Okay, next exercise is one more superset. You have a high row and an uppercut. Okay, so our high row is gonna look like this. I'm gonna grab these eight pounds. You can grab whatever you have at home. You're gonna bend over, okay? And we have two ways we can do the upright row or the high row, two ways. You can be here or bent over, okay? If you're bent over, you're gonna have a little more work in your core and your glutes. Okay, next we're gonna do an uppercut, this one, you're gonna have the palms facing you and you're gonna drive the elbows up and down, up and down, okay? You want a lighter weight choice for that. But since this is so short, I want you to try to go as heavy as you can. Okay, here we go. We have two minutes on the clock. We're starting with that high row and that uppercut. Get ready, let's do it. It would help if like, if I could talk, my throat wasn't dry. All right, let's do it. Three, two, one. We've got that high row. I love a bent arm high row, but then eventually, sometimes my back starts to bother me. So this is definitely more of an advanced move. You gotta pop your booty out, okay? Um, and lengthen your spine. As long as you know how to hinge correctly, and we're gonna work on that at training camp, for sure. Rest in three, two, one. Okay, go straight into those uppercuts. I don't know why I said rest, because you are sure not resting right now. 
Okay, for this one, mid face and I stop. Elbows come up to my nose, that's it. Squeeze your core, come on, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. You decided to show up today. You decided, look in the mirror and you're like, I'm gonna be a bad bee today. Yep, that's it, that's all there is to it. Okay, high row, here's your other option. Right here, elbows up, high and wide. You can have your feet underneath you, staggered. I don't care, <laughs> whatever's most comfortable for you. Definitely starting to build some heat, okay? This would also be a great workout finisher if you're someone who's been lifting for a while and you just wanna add something on to the end of your upper body day, okay? And going right back to that uppercut. Three, two, one, press it up and down. Up and down. Keep breathing. You're gonna hear me breathe for sure. Woo! Come on team, let's go. I told you the triceps were gonna burn. Oh my gosh, short and sweet. Let's go, three, two, one, we rest. Oh my goodness, awesome job. 15 minutes and you have completed, we got one more set, but 15 minutes and you've just, just completed an amazing upper body sculpt, okay? So um, at training camp, there's always a bonus. We're gonna go back and do the high row and the uppercut, okay? We have 30 seconds on the clock to rest. We have two more minutes and then we always have a bonus, okay? I just like to surprise you guys. I like to keep you guessing. Okay, back to that high row and that uppercut in three, two, one. Let's do it. Right here, right now. Elbows high. Okay, another thing to watch for when you're doing a high row is that the wrists like to collapse. And this is just sad. This is just, this is just sad, okay? So basically, I want you to pretend like you're gonna zip up a coat behind you, okay, on the sides of your body. And those wrists, they lay flat, okay? Three, two, one, flip the palms, uppercut. Mid face, I stop. All the way up, right here. You'll notice that if you keep your hands held high and your elbows don't go all the way down here, it's gonna be harder. <laughs> it's gonna be harder. I always give you ways to make things um, at a level that suits your fitness level, okay? But I also will always give you challenges. Oh my gosh, okay. We're going back to that high row, right into it, right into it. Okay, I love this bent over. Squeeze your core, squeeze your glutes. This takes a lot more mind muscle connection. When you come to camp, we gotta train your mindset, okay? We shred old habits here for new ones. Let's go. In three, two, one, uppercut. And then you are done. You can stay for the bonus if you want. Oh my goodness. Let's go. Halfway. Oh my gosh, come on, keep on pumping those reps out. I'm definitely choosing lighter weight choices than I would choose if I was taking more breaks. One more, come on, and rest. Great job, team. You just finished your upper sculpt. I'm so pumped for you. Um, your shoulder sculpt, it's just like, feels so good to be done. I hope it's Monday for you. I hope it's Monday for you because it's gonna feel really good to have this done. My arms are dead. Okay, that bonus round, if you're sticking around, we're gonna do that bent arm lateral raise and that Arnold press one more time, okay? Because we're focusing on those shoulders and they take a lot of reps to change, okay? I'm just procrastinating, honestly. This is what I do at home. So if you weren't with me, if I was just at home not following a video or a timer, I walk around and I'm like, no, I'm good. Okay, here we go. Bent arm lateral raise, Arnold press, two minutes, that's your bonus. Right here, okay? One more set of these guys. 
That's it. You have 10 seconds left. Till we make that switch, Arnold press. Here we go. Three, two, one. Right here. Switch those palms. Okay, palms face you. Pretend like there's walls on either side of you and you've got to stay within those walls, okay? Right here. Imagine I'm coming right up to you. There's walls, okay? So you can't go around them. You can only go through them, okay? One more set, one more minute. Three, two, one. Go back to that bent arm lateral raise right here. And by the end of this workout, your arms are gonna look amazing. Freshly pumped blood to muscles. <laughs> That's what makes you look good. <sighs> Anytime you see someone taking pictures like that, usually they've worked out beforehand so they can get their flex on. <laughs> Come on, let's be real. Come on, let's go, one more rep. In three, two, one. Excellent, Arnold press right here. Pump it out, pump it out. Whew. Oh my gosh. Getting tired, but you're here working hard for that bonus. This is, the, this is the magic reps. I like to call these the magic reps because they absolutely make a lot of changes. Let's go, come on. Woo. Let's go in three, two, one more rep. One, and you are done. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much for staying around for the bonus. Don't thank me, thank yourself, okay? Every time you come to camp, results will come as long as you continue to show up, okay? Gain confidence, I want you to work on your form all the time and know that I'm always gonna give you options. All right guys, it's time to follow up your workout with an eat to feel guide meal. Um, you can always find that on my website. But for now, have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in the next workout.